everyone. Nice to meet you again with the Disney 3D Art YouTube channel. Yesterday, at fencing during the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, Vivian Kong from Hong Kong, China, became the first athlete to win a gold medal in fencing at the 2024 Paris Olympics, after the female fencer won the tense final against the number one candidate. One from host country France is Oriane Malo Breton. The atmosphere of the final match of the women's triple saber event on the evening of July 27, local time, reached its exciting peak with the appearance of French President Emmanuel Macron. The Palais Palace, which can accommodate 8,000 people, is almost sealed to wait for the coronation of the host country's swordsman. Under the overwhelmingly enthusiastic cheers in the stands, Oriane Mallow Breton got off to a good start, leading Vivian Kong to a score of 7 to 1. But then, tragedy happened to Oriane Mallow Breton and French fans. She was defeated by Vivian Kong, creating a spectacular comeback with a total score of 13 to 12. This extremely dramatic victory of Vivian Kong not only broke the hearts of the French but also brought home a prestigious gold medal for both her and the Hong Kong, China, sports team. Because this is the third Olympic gold medal in Hong Kong, China, sports history, creating a wave of excitement among local people. In particular, Chief of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, China, John Lee Ka Chu sent congratulations to Golden Girl Vivian Kong. The female fencer from Hong Kong, China, burst into tears after the final. With the score of 7 to 1, I told myself I didn't want to lose with such an embarrassing gap. So I just tried to go back one point at a time. Then I realized I could do better. I erased everything, I wanted to try whatever I could, and in the end I had a successful comeback. She continued. I lost concentration a bit right at the beginning of the final. It was a bit distracting to think that the French audience would be really disappointed if I won. Because competing at the Palais is a dream for me and I'm grateful for the presence of all the fans, even if they might not want me to win. This is Vivian Kong's third consecutive Olympics. After two participations in Rio in 2016 and Tokyo in 2021 but both ended their journeys early. Vivian Kong is praised by everyone for her perfect talent because she not only has a beautiful face and is famous for fencing, but also graduated from Stanford University and holds a PhD in law from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, China. National. Fencing on the first official day of competition, July 27, at the 2024 Paris Olympics demonstrates the architectural content of two medals being exchanged. In addition to the women's three-edged saber gold medal belonging to Vivian Kong, Korean fencer Oh sang won the gold medal in the men's individual saber event. While the silver medal belonged to Fares Ferjani, Tunisia, Luigi Samel of Italy won the bronze medal. Besides, there was also the shock defeat of two candidates Sun Yiwen, China, and Aaron Shalagi, Hungary, right from the first round. Next is the beach volleyball. The Spanish duo of Liliana Fernandez and Paula Soria celebrated in the sand as they defeated Italians Valentina Guitardi and Marta Menegatti, 2-1. The Spaniards needed five set points before they could lock down the opener, 24-22. Set 2, however, wasn't nearly as close as the Italians jumped to a 5-0 lead and cruised to a 21-9 win. Set 3 was more in line with the first, and with a similar result. Denied on their first match point, Fernandez and Soria converted their second to prevail, 16-14. At men's pool B the Italians defeated the Netherlands, 2-1, on Sunday at Eiffel Tower Stadium. The Dutch duo of Steven van de Velde and Matthew Amers faced off against Italians Alex Rongieri and Adrian Ignacio Carambula Raurik in an evenly matched first set as both teams traded points back. And fourth until the very end of the set. Italy ultimately proved the victor in the first set though, mounting a strong comeback to defeat the Netherlands, 22-20. The second match came down to match points again as the Netherlands and Italy competed back and forth to the end. The Dutch hung on to win, 21-19, to set up a deciding third set. On the third match point of the third set, Karambula Raurik scored the game-winning point to elevate the Italians to a 15-13 set win. In archery, Duty Anne Wei scored 648 points, ranked 37th in the 2024 Olympic Women's Single Archery Qualifying Round. Like Tokyo 2021, archery and Anne Wei continue to be the opening subjects for the Vietnamese sports delegation. Last time, Wei shot 628 points to rank 49th in the qualifying round. Before unfortunately stopping in the 132nd round when she lost a tiebreak point to Japanese archer Ren Hakakawa. This time, Wei had a better performance in the qualifying round. 
scoring 648 points to place 37th in 64 rounds. After 12 rounds of shooting with 72 arrows, she equaled the score of American archer Catalina Noriega, but ranked higher due to 10 more points. 22 compared to 20. Vietnamese archers had the best shot at 2 with 58 points. Her position fluctuated from 41 to 48 in the first 10 rounds, before breaking out in the last two rounds. At 11, Wei shot three tens, two nines and one eight to gain another 56 points and rise to 38. By the final viewing, she continued to maintain her form to earn another 55 points, also with three score 10. To reach position 37, one of Wei's problems lies in concentration and stamina, as she scored 9 and 10 on the first three arrows each time. But in the last three arrows, Wei only scored 10 once, then received three sevens, all in the last shot. Meanwhile, Korean archers continued to show their strength by taking the first two positions. Archer Lim Si Hyeon scored 694 points, to break compatriot Kong Chai Young's world record of 692 points, set in 2019. Lim scored 48 tens, with 21 hits in the bull's eye and only two eights. Archer Nam Su Hyeon scored 688 points. Behind are Yang Zhaolei, China, with 673 points, Casey Kaufhold, USA, with 672 points and Elif Bera Gokir, Turkey, with 671 points. Indonesian athlete Diananda Schwarunisa surprisingly ranked 6th with 670 points, equal to German athlete Michelle Kroppen, but had 33 points 10 compared to 31. After the qualifying round, 64 archers will enter the knockout round, taking place from July 30th to August 1st. The pairs are arranged according to the rules, the top athlete in the qualifying round meets the 64th ranked athlete. The second ranked athlete meets 63, until 32 meets 33. Thus, Wei ranked 37th will meet the 28th ranked athlete, Mobina Fala of Iran. In the knockout round, two archers compete in a maximum of five sets. Each set shoots three arrows to calculate the total score. A winning athlete gets two points, a tie gets one point. And whoever reaches six points first wins overall. If there is a 5 to 5 tie after five sets, the two archers will shoot a tiebreak series with one arrow. Whoever shoots closest to the center will win. Du Tian Wei was born on January 15, 2001 in Hong Yen, is one of eight athletes born after 2000 in the Vietnamese sports delegation, attending the 2024 Olympics. She participated in basketball in 2016 but was not suitable. A year later, Wei was redirected to archery. Even though she didn't like it at first, she gradually loved it and revealed her talent. After An Wei, Le Quoc Phong will enter the men's single archery event, taking place at 7.15 p.m. today. The total scores of Kwok Fong and An Wei will be used to determine rankings in the men's and women's doubles content. Now, we return of the video today with the character Mrs. Potts in the movie Beauty and the Beast Everyone. Mrs. Potts is a supporting character in Disney's 1991 animated feature film Beauty and the Beast. She is the castle's head housekeeper who was transformed into an enchanted teapot once the enchantress placed her curse. Mrs. Potts was the head housekeeper of a spoiled prince's castle, and the mother of several children, the most notable being Chip, who is found by her side at almost every instant. When the prince encounters and insults a powerful enchantress, Mrs. Potts is transformed into a sentient object, a teapot, along with the rest of her colleagues, while the prince is transformed into a monstrous beast. Intelligent, level-headed, and self-righteous. Mrs. Potts is perhaps the most reliant member of the beast's staff. Being a mother, she can be very gentle and nurturing, while also being stern and no-nonsense. Unlike Cogsworth and Lumiere, Mrs. Potts lacks troublesome quirks and acts as the voice of reason amongst her colleagues. Though she fears his violent outbursts, Mrs. Potts' tough demeanor also has a strong effect on the beast. Who appears to respect his head housekeeper the most out of all his servants, he has even been shown to occasionally snap out of his violent tantrums when she confronts him on his behavior. Furthermore, Mrs. Potts apparently fears the beast the least, as she won't hesitate to disobey one of his strict orders if it means caring for someone in need, such as Belle. Another example of her nurturing nature and selflessness. As mentioned above, Mrs. Potts is very gentle, and oftentimes, soft-spoken. With great patience, she treats the notion of, falling in love, as an extremely delicate and sensitive matter, unlike Lumiere, who initially believed Belle and the Beast could fall in love and break the spell in a mere few hours. Though the wilting of the rose was dire and unabating, Mrs. 
Potts saw it crucial that the relationship between Bell and the Beast was given proper development, specifically in terms of getting the latter to obtain greater control of his temper by establishing himself as a gentleman, despite his monstrous appearance. She was also highly sympathetic towards Bell, while Cogsworth was initially peeved by her reluctance to join the Beast for dinner, despite his rather ill attempt to ask politely, Mrs. Potts openly turned her frustration towards the Beast's explosive temper feeling it was unfair to expect Bell to cooperate when the Beast allows his aggression to control his actions. On top of the fact that she had lost her father and freedom merely moments prior. Chip Potts is the son of Mrs. Potts and a supporting character in Disney's 1991 also animated feature film Beauty and the Beast. As a human, Chip is a seven-year-old boy who works with Mrs. Potts in the castle kitchens. Like the other inhabitants of the castle, he was cursed by the Enchantress. When Mrs. Potts was transformed into a teapot, Chip was likewise transformed into a teacup. At the end of the film, once Belle and the Beast fell in love, Chip is magically restored to his human form. He has five brothers named Marie, Pierre, Catherine, Margaret, and Louis. Chip is adventurous and constantly curious about the world around him. He is a cheerful and active young boy and, like his mother and the rest of the staff, is shown to have a great fear of the Beast's temper. He is also shown to be very brave and heroic as shown in the first film, where he saves Belle and her father, Maurice, in order for them to rescue the Beast from Gaston and the angry mob. He loves Belle very much and views her as his big sister and best friend. As is typical of curious boys his age, he apparently has an overactive imagination, when he comes rushing in to inform Mrs. Potts that there is a girl, Belle, in the castle, she scolds him for making up such tall tales. In the movie, Chip is Mrs. Potts' son, who gets turned into a teacup under the spell of the Enchantress. He is first seen having tea poured into him for Maurice to drink. When Maurice drinks the tea, he tickles Chip with his mustache, making Chip laugh. The Beast then storms in and Chip hides behind Mrs. Potts and watches sadly as the Beast grabs Maurice and takes him to the dungeon. When Belle comes to the castle looking for Maurice, Chip comes into the kitchen telling Mrs. Potts that there's a girl in the castle. Mrs. Potts initially doesn't believe him and puts him into the tub. Then Fifi the Feather Duster shows up and says that she saw a girl in the castle. To which Chip pops up from the tub and says, See, I told ya. Later, Mrs. Potts and Chip bring Belle some tea. Mrs. Potts then pours tea into Chip and he shows Belle a trick, blowing bubbles. For which Mrs. Potts reprimands him. Belle then tells them about losing Maurice and dreams, but Mrs. Potts tells her everything will be alright and leaves with Chip. When Belle brings Beast back to the castle after being attacked by wolves Chip watches as Belle tends to the Beast's wound and they become the best of friends. When Beast gives Belle his library, Chip watches with Mrs. Potts, Cogsworth, Lumiere, and Fifi. Chip asks Mrs. Potts what the Beast and Belle are talking about, but she sends him into the kitchen as there are chores to be done. When Belle leaves the castle to find Maurice, Cogsworth tells Lumiere, Chip, and Mrs. Potts and Chip secretly gets into Belle's bag and goes home with her. After Belle gets Maurice into bed at their cottage, Chip reveals himself from the bag, hops into Maurice's hand, and asks Belle why she left, but before Belle can answer Chip, Gaston shows up and prepares to have Maurice taken to the asylum, believing that he is crazy for saying that he saw a beast. When Belle proves to Gaston that there is a beast using the enchanted mirror, he and the villagers lock her and Maurice in their cellar and set off to attack the beast. Luckily, Chip uses Maurice's invention to help them escape from the cellar and they get on Philippe the horse and ride back to the castle. When the spell is broken, Chip is turned back into his human form. In the closing ballroom scene, he is seen in Mrs. Potts' arms, alongside Maurice, watching Belle dance with Prince Adam. He asks Mrs. Potts if they are, gonna live happily ever after. To which she replies, of course my dear. Of course. Then he asks if he still has to sleep in the cupboard, much to Maurice's amusement and Mrs. Potts laughs along, too. He is also seen in the ending stained glass window. First is to draw tea stem, then draw the yellow tea handle for Mrs. Potts. Next is to draw tea bottom and then decorate the floral for Mrs. Potts. Next is to decorate the face and draw the tea faucet for Mrs. Potts.
Finally, draw the tea lid for Mrs. Potts. So the character Mrs. Potts is done. Next is the character Chip Potts. First is copy the tea bottom to make the teacup bottom for Chip. Then draw the body of the cup. Finally is to decorate the face and teacup handle for Chip Potts. So the character Mrs. Potts and Teapots, both characters in the movie Beauty and the Beast has been completed. If you like this video please like and subscribe to receive the new notify. At the same time, download the app and go to website Disney Store to shopping online, as well as Disney Plus to watch some movies and TV shows for free, used by many people of the world. Tomorrow, we continued on the Disney 3D Art YouTube channel to make the next characters also for Disney. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye everyone.